Hey, good day there. This is Joe Van Cleve. Today I'd like to uh, bring to your mind a slightly different kind of a topic for the typewriter video series. Uh, thus far we've been really talking about how typewriters work and how to fit them into your life and whatnot. But today I'd like to talk to you about the idea of typewriters as vehicles of therapy. Typewriter therapy. Okay, strange subject it might be, but it came to my mind today. Um, I was kind of in a mood where I just needed to type. It was a, a windy, rainy, blustery, cold day here in Albuquerque, and I was out in my garage, which is fairly warm, and I had my typewriter set up on the workbench, and I just had this desire to just load paper in the typewriter and start typing about stuff and I didn't know what I was going to write about really. I ended up writing four or five pieces um, just little one pagers maybe two page things about different random kind of subjects but one of the things I ended up writing about was this phenomenon where I used to be a really avid pinhole photographer for many years and in the last few years my interest in that artistic field has kind of dwindled to the point where in these last two years I have not participated in Worldwide Pinhole Photography Day like I used to and anyways I wanted to I guess I wanted to just kind of type my thoughts about that why is that happening and what I discovered about doing it with a typewriter is there's a formality to mechanized print in that I try to type it as neat as possible and I also try to wordsmith my sentences so that they're as um, formally structured as possible as if I was writing for um, an audience to read it. And in doing so I discovered that I was actually laying out the logical parts of my argument, if you will, at least all the elements of what was going on in this particular circumstance. And I was laying out those elements in a formal way that I hadn't really thought of in my mind. Um, and the structure, the formal structure of writing this out on the typewriter ended up leading me toward a conclusion or at least a possible explanation for why this has been happening. And so I discovered, um, in a sense, I found a solution. I, there, was, uh, uh, there was a benefit to using the typewriter in this, in this way that really was therapeutic. I'm not suggesting that the typewriter is like a crystal ball, that you're going to be able to solve all your problems with it. But um, there's a formality to its use, I think, that is... Um, much more powerful than just handwriting, for instance, uh, that seems to bring out, at least in me, these logical ideas as you're trying to form them into formal sentences and statements uh, that it's very beneficial. There's a power of being able to state thoughts into words. And there is a power in being able to transfer words onto print on paper. Um, it is what the ancient Greeks call the logos, the word. And it is powerful because it truly puts abstract thought into concrete form. And that, I think, is part of the power of, uh, behind this typewriter therapy. It's the power of the printed word, thoughts put into print uh, in a concrete fashion through the aegis of uh, formal uh, structured sentences that helps you articulate your thoughts in a logical manner. There's another element to typewriter therapy I wanted to touch on though. And that is the visceral act of actually typing itself. I find myself, after a week of work, having spent a lot of time around computers and uh, touch screens and whatnot, I find myself really desiring to 
interact with a mechanical typewriter. And this has to do with the way that the, um, the muscles and nerves of my fingers actually apply pressure and speed to the keys of a typewriter. There is this immediate and uh, direct feedback that you get as you're, as you're pressing the keys um, that is directly proportional to the speed and force with which you hit the keys. Um, and it's what I would kind of think of as cybernetic, meaning that there is this melding of the human body with an artificial machine when you are typing with a manual typewriter. The machine, the type bars and the type slugs become a direct physical extension of your fingers. And you can feel this um, extension in the sense of immediate and continuous feedback on your fingers as you're typing. You don't get this same sensation when you're typing with an electric typewriter or a computer keyboard because those are just on off switches. There's no continuous feedback that's proportional to the force you put into it. So the manual typewriter is cybernetic and I find almost physical pleasure in the act of typing. Um, even maybe subconsciously the noise of it and the sound of it and, and watching the me mechanical parts work. But combining um, that physical pleasure of typing with this idea of therapy, uh, typing therapy, going into a typing session in a private writing space of your own where you can use the typewriter unimpeded by anybody else's presence as much as you want, Go into that space, sit down, load some paper up, have an open mind, don't have any agenda for what you're writing about, no project in mind, no blog article, no essay, no poem, nothing like that. It's just open-ended, open-minded possibilities of typing. Go into that environment, sit down, put some paper in the machine, and just think, it. what is it? that I really want to deal with right now? What is it that's bothering me? What is it that's been on my mind? And just start writing about it as formally as you can with as formal of a sentence structure as you can as if you were writing it for someone else to read. Lay out your argument, lay out all the aspects that you understand and you'll be surprised what you'll find will happen with that writing process. I think it's very important that a person is able to get in touch with their inner thoughts. I think too often we walk around in life disconnected from our internal selves, disconnected from who we are, and too often we don't really have a full clarity of mind, of purpose. But through this means of typewriter therapy, is it's a way of getting in touch with yourself, getting in touch with your inner thoughts, getting in touch with the things that really matter in your heart, because you're finding yourself able to state things in a structured, formal way that maybe have only up to that point been fuzzy abstract emotion without any substance, without any definition. Um, and it's being able to take these emotions and feelings and defining them through the structure of language and then putting that language onto paper in a structured way that's formal looking because it's mechanically printed rather than handwritten. I think that goes a long ways toward being able to help articulate what is in your own heart. And that's part of the power of typewriter therapy. So that's my suggestion for using typewriters in your own life is this thing I call typewriter therapy. Put it to use in your life. This is Joe Van Cleve. You have yourself a great day.